How we doing today, YouTube? d -Ski from d -Ski Grills back with another cooking video. And today, we are making up hickory smoked beef ribs on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Folks, I'm so excited about this cook. Another easy one to do. All we're gonna do is season up this awesome three bone beef plate rib that I got from Costco. We're gonna season them up with the It's Incredible as our base coat. We are gonna use garlic flavored olive oil to make sure our spices stick. And we're coming back with a heavy dose of the black seasoning by Bearded Butchers, all right? That's all we're gonna do. Our grill, we're gonna get it set up at around 250 degrees. I got the grill going right now. We're gonna hit it with hickory chunks and just infuse this beautiful slab, okay? Three bone beef plate rib and get it on there. So the idea, folks, is we'll probably cook for about two, two and a half hours of just straight smoke, letting our bark set. Then we'll come on back, get this baby wrapped up we're shooting for around 205 degrees being the final product. Then we'll meet at the cutting board, cut into some very, very succulent beef plate ribs made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay folks, so we're at the cutting board. So again, we'll be using the It's Incredible. We will be using the black seasoning. Now this has a mixture of coffee, molasses, lots of deep, rich flavors that's gonna be awesome on this beef. We are gonna use a garlic infused olive oil for a binder, all right? So let's get cut into here. Let me show you what we have, folks. We have, from Costco, beef plate short ribs, all right? Picked these up yesterday, I got really excited. I usually go to Costco just to walk the meat area and see what things they have out there. It helps give me inspiration on what I'm gonna cook uh, and try to bring to the channel. So we'll get these babies opened up really quick, let you see how they look. So again, it is a three bounder. Very, very, very nice. Look at that, wonderful. Now, uh, you don't remove the membrane when you're doing beef ribs, so we will not be touching the membrane here. It holds everything together. But as you can see, we have a three bounder. We have one bone here, two, and three, okay? There she is. Now, what I'm gonna do, folks, is just take a little bit of the fat off top. I wanna make sure that these seasonings get just put in really, really deep on this meat. So I'm gonna do a little trimming. And once I do that, we'll get back together for the seasoning process. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, folks, we are back. So look at the wonderful trimming we did. Now you have the meat exposed, okay? Don't worry about tenderness. You wanna know why? We have awesome marbling throughout this wonderful, wonderful rack of ribs here. So this thing is gonna be tender, no doubt about it, all right? So what we're gonna do right now, since we've done the trimming process, we're gonna come back first with our olive oil. So let's get going on the binder. We'll get a nice portion of that. And what I wanna do is get it rubbed in. Again, it is to make sure our, our seasonings adhere. So this is what we have going on right now. All right, we're gonna come with my tried and true, and that is the It's Incredible. I'm gonna get a nice coat of that added. I'm gonna to have to refill this bottle. We'll go ahead and use it all right now, though. Now, I fired up the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I haven't added the hickory yet, but I did start the grill itself up. So we'll be cutting down some time and getting this baby on there. All right, now we're coming back with the black seasoning. Go to beardedbutchers.com. You wanna check this stuff out. It is really good. It is a bold, robust type flavor. Perfect for beef, perfect for beef. They have other seasonings as well. This is the only one I've tried and uh, I really liked it a lot. All right, and we'll do this last edge here. Okay, now check out the backside. See the backside, there's nothing but um, hard, tough membrane on the back. I'm not worrying about doing any seasoning there. We wanna focus on the top of these ribs. That's where all of our bark, that's where all of our flavor is gonna come in. The bottom is strictly, strictly just to hold the ribs together while they're going through the process. So again, going heavy with this stuff, let's get some more at it. We'll let it sit for about 10 minutes and soak in. And then folks, I'll meet you outside and all we'll be doing is adding a piece of hickory to the Weber Summit, putting this baby on, dialing it into around 250 degrees and we're gonna let it go for two or three hours before we even open the lid on it. See you guys outside. Okay, folks, so we're out at the grill. Again, it is ready to go. I've already lit the um, charcoal. We're using Jealous Devil for today's cook. We have a nice, nice um, heat going now. We were already at around 220 degrees, uh, but I wanted to open it up and just show it to you real quick. So let's come back first with our hickory chunks. So that's what we're gonna use today. 
So we're going to infuse these babies with hickory. I'm just going to get those added. I'm really excited about this. You're talking about delicious. That's exactly what we're about to have. Just an awesome, awesome, flavorful uh, rack of ribs today. All right, so they're smaller chunks, more like uh, chips almost because I'm down to the end of it. But okay, there's that. We're coming back with our diffuser plate. All right, and from there, folks, we're coming with our grill grate. Let's get it cleaned up a little. be a phenomenal cook again it should take anywhere from you know what it may not take any more than about four hours i mean we'll let the temperature tell us what what's going on so we'll get a probe out here um, i'm going to use the maverick xr50 we'll put, we'll put that right into the thickest part of the ribs and uh, once those babies get up to around 170 180 we'll pull them wrap them bring them back out here until they reach 205 degrees okay next step my favorite part of the video, and that's let's get cooking. We're gonna go ahead and add these beautiful ribs right in the middle of the grill. Close it up and let it do its magic. Now we'll spritz maybe, uh, like I said, about two hours in. What we wanna do now is just build bark, okay? So I'm gonna shut it down. We'll get back in about two hours and see how these awesome beef ribs are coming along. See you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. And what I realized is I didn't add a drip pan or anything to make sure I not only keep the grill clean, but also infuse more moisture. So I'm gonna pick this up really quick. I just wanna make sure not to leave out anything when I'm showing you guys how to do this stuff. So let's get two drip pans here. We'll catch what we can, right? I'm gonna come on back with water. Get some moisture in this cook. So it's twofold. We're talking moisture and we're talking about keeping your grill clean. All right, we're gonna go right on top of that. Now we'll let this baby just drip away and do its thing. All right, just wanted to share that with you make sure I didn't leave any of those steps out. I'll get back with you guys in two hours. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about two and a half hours in. You see the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill is sitting right at around 240 degrees. This will be our first look together at these beautiful ribs. Let's see how they're coming along. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna give them a spritz, shut them back down, and then we'll come back again in about maybe 20 minutes. I'm gonna wrap them, and from there, we'll just let them come up to temperature, which will be 205 degrees. But you see, we already started getting pulled back, so the low and slow method is absolutely doing a wonderful job on these beautiful plate ribs. Let me show you this side here. Yeah, they are cooking up nicely. Okay, let's give them a little spritz to add some moisture. So we'll do that right now. Now the mixture I'm using is apple cider vinegar and a little bit of apple juice, okay? That's all they need. All right, I'm gonna shut it down. We'll get back together uh, once we hit 205 degrees. All I'm gonna do is the wrapping process, which you don't have to see that, no big deal. We're gonna wrap it up, bring it back out here, get a probe in here, and once we reach 205 degrees, I'll meet you guys at the cutting board after they rest for about an hour. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back. Look at the beautiful pullback we've already achieved on these beef plate ribs, okay? We've also formed our bark, okay? So our bark is set, and that's from just letting it sit and slow cook for about two and a half, maybe three hours. We spritzed it one time with a little bit of apple juice and the apple cider vinegar. So what we're gonna do now, since they're around 170 degrees, is go ahead, pick them up, Put them on foil and we're gonna get them wrapped, okay? So this is gonna allow us to get our tenderness and also reach the 205 degrees. So what we're gonna do is hit it with another spritz. Now we'll wrap. Now I'm using heavy duty foil. It's the, really the best kind you can use for something like this. You don't want those bones poking through. All right, so we'll do that. Come on up. 
Okay, I'll bring it up to the frame and let you see a flip. We'll flip now. We'll do this again. Bring up our edges. And one more flip. Should complete it right here. Okay, so we have an awesome pocket. We'll go ahead and put our meat probe into the thickest part of these ribs. We're shooting for 205. I'll get back with you once that is done. They're gonna rest for about 45 minutes and we'll cut into these awesome hickory smoke beef ribs made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Checking out the final product of our three bone hickory smoked beef ribs made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Folks, we're gonna talk about what we did before we unveil this goodness. We started off by removing the fat on top trying to make sure we expose the meat. So we had a beautiful marbled meat surface. We came, folks, with garlic infused olive oil. It's incredible, and the black seasoning. We went heavy on those seasonings, let it sit on the cutting board, went outside and fired up that Weber Summit charcoal grill. We got that grill up to around 250 degrees, added the diffuser plate, added hickory smoke. Before you know it, this beautiful rack of ribs was on the grill. We closed it up. We let it go for about two and a half hours before doing anything else. That was all about developing the bark. Then we spritzed with apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Closed it back down again, folks. Once it got up to 170 degrees, we brought it in, wrapped it in foil, and then took it back out there until it reached 205 degrees. From there, folks, it's been resting here on the cutting board for about 45 minutes. I can't wait to take it loose and show you guys the final product. So let's do that right now. I'm so excited about this. I am so sure that it's gonna be juices flowing. I am calling it right now. Look at this. Look at these beautiful ribs. Look at these beautiful ribs. Okay, check out the juices. I don't wanna lose this. We're gonna put this in another container. I tell you what, I'm gonna get a container right now. That way we don't lose these juices. Let's do that. These juices are gonna be just absolutely amazing to keep with the barbecue. So I'm gonna go ahead and transport. Try not to lose those. There we go. All right, so we got our juices saved. I'm gonna move this to the side. Let's take our ribs out, folks, and check these things out. Look at them, falling off the bone, okay? The bone just fell out, folks. So you already know, we're talking straight tenderness here, all right? Can't even get my stuff together, I'm just so excited about it. All right, did you see that bone come loose? Look at that. Look. Okay, you're talking about, look, this is called tenderness, okay? Look at this, folks. Look at this. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime. It's a passion. We're going to cut a little bit off here. I just want to show you all what we're working with. Look at our beautiful smoke ring, okay? I mean, look at the tenderness. This is done right. Beautiful bark. Nothing left but a taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is absolutely simple. Absolutely simple. If you haven't had beef ribs, you got to give them a shot, okay? These are absolutely amazing, full of marble, full of flavor. You can taste the it's incredible. You can taste the black seasoning. I'm telling you, folks, this hickory smoke infused, you got a beautiful smoke ring. You can't beat it, okay? I want to thank you again for joining me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm about to enjoy me some awesome beef ribs. Mm. Makes no sense.